hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Tessin for those that are new here and in today's video as you can have seen from the title I'm going to be talking about money hmm. ha! we all love money we all need money me I need money let me speak for myself I need money I don't know if you need money I'm sure you need money we all need money and we all could learn you know a thing or two about money if you follow me on Instagram, my handles will be here. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. And also, as you're following me on Instagram, make sure you click the subscribe button so that you can get notified anytime I make videos. Shout out to us. We're about almost 67 or 68,000 subscribers now. I think, yeah, that's 67 or 66 subscribers now. So thank you guys so much. We're on the way to 100,000 subscribers. So yeah, anyway, back to this video. I'm going to be talking about money. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, as I said, make sure you follow me. I share a lot of, I would say, um, information personal life lessons on finance on food on health on family on faith on business on literally my entrepreneurial journey which is business i also share like a truckload of banter humor and all of that but a while back i actually shared some things on you know growing up in a in a home where my mom was an entrepreneur my dad was a financial expert and some of the lessons that i've learned about about that and i got a lot of questions and i did answer them on instagram but in today's video, I'm actually going to talk about, you know, some lessons that personally, which are, to you, they might be things that you already know, but to someone out there, it might not be things that they know. So I'm going to be doing that in this video. So if you'd like to know more, definitely keep watching. But before I go on, this video is also in partnership with Kari Wise. Kari Wise is a mobile platform. It's also, I think, on web version as well for investment, savings, and so much more, which I'll be sharing later in this video. But nonetheless, without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the first thing that I've learned from my father, oh, I love my father. I'll try and insert a picture here, how much I love my dad. We are so close. My dad, I still spoke to him today. We are so close. Is live beneath your means. I know a lot of people say, you know, you have to live, you know, live within your means. Like, let me say, lean, live within your income bracket. But one thing I learned, especially from my dad, is that he lives beneath his means. My dad is not all this inspired to aspire this is someone that i have seen you know live out a life he's been able to you know give us afford us a quality of life to an extent and also inspire me to also do that and more for my daughter you know this is someone that i lived with literally all my life before i got married and i've seen how financially prudent he was and it's not people that they say one thing and they practice another this is someone that I, as i said his fruits show that he actually knows about money now when i say living beneath your means now let me tell you one thing about less about my dad if my dad can afford something of let me say let me use something maybe a phone or maybe even a shoe of about let me say a million naira my dad would do literally three quarters of that living way below his means and i noticed that like you know even with the things that we had that we had as children so let's say i know that my dad can afford to let me even say go on a first class flight 10 times a year he will go just once a year on holiday with our family and even on those trips when we go abroad on those trips my dad me he'll give all of us money to shop for school me i, I was so very interested in that i'll buy clothes buy so many things which i've shared in some of my um, lessons to my younger self i think i've done that video make sure you watch that and um, but my dad he will only buy books it will only which is going to lead me to my next point only buy books it would only buy maybe just basic amenities, maybe his glasses and new suits. He always lived beneath his means. And he used to tell us then growing up that, you know what, even if you have a hundred million naira in your account, doesn't mean you should spend a hundred million. I remember during my wedding, I said, my wedding video, I think I talked about tips of planning a Nigerian wedding on a budget. And I talked about, I think one of the things that it would be great if black people or we from African descent in Caucasus is when you have the money doesn't mean you should spend it. You have it doesn't mean you should spend it. I have ten thousand pounds in my account doesn't mean I'm going to go and buy a seven thousand pound Birkin. Can I afford it? Yes. Can I afford it twice? Maybe not. So it's only wise that you live beneath your means. Why? And the reason is that, is that you don't want to be in a position where, um, if whatever you have bought or your expenses, you're in a position where those things are taken away from you. You might not be able to replace them at the speed of light, or you might not able to have money for rainy day. Or you might not actually, you know how they always say a joke that if you're going to buy a £7,000 Birkin, make sure that you have £7,000 and an extra zero in that bag. So that's just one example, living beneath your means. Don't say because you have the money, you need to spend it. No, live way beneath your means so that in case of an emergency, you already have money saved and you're not too shaken. So that's the first. The second thing I would say I've learned from my daddy is, is educating yourself. Oh, 
educating yourself financially as i said at the beginning of the video you cannot know too much about money there's always something to learn because day after day they're bringing up new financial instruments they're bringing up new laws the exchange rate is changing treasure bills interest rates are changing so many things are changing some are not even selling treasure bills you might not even i mean scams are coming up pyramid scheme scheme scams are coming up and i realized as i said when we used to go on holiday my dad used to buy so many books he's a person of faith but not just faith books financial books things that will actually you know open his mind to see how things are done globally not just being a local champion so as a young person watching this video i want to encourage you i love to read books you might not even be able to buy books maybe you don't have the attention span to actually buy a book and read but there are so many articles i talked about quora one time it's just a platform where you can read articles you can go on there you know subscribe to finance even just reading your daily newspaper even going on twitter and following financial experts even going on instagram and follow people that you know know so much about financial wealth and you can see proof which is bringing me to my third point, not aspire to inspire. People that you can see proof that they know what they're talking about. They have gone through the right academic, you know, expertise. They have learned, they have certificates and results to show for it that they know what they're talking about. Because as I tell you, someone can come up with a scam today and talk about the scam. And because they went to school, you might suddenly believe them. But when you educate yourself, you will not be blindsided by sweet talkers okay so that's another le lesson i learned from my dad i try to educate myself financially i might not be the most um i might not have the largest appetite for risk you know when i talk about re risk appetite it's like how much risk you're willing to take you may be able to invest in you know what would i call it e-platforms i may not be able to do that you may be able to do whatever is trending now i don't want to mention names if you know i'm being careful you may be able to or i may not be able to so make sure you educate yourself so that you don't get blindsided Another money habit that I learned from my dad is saving and investing. You know, as I said to you, I grew up in a home where, you know, by the mercies of God, we had the, what would I say, um, we had good opportunities, we went to the good schools, great schools actually. We never had issues with them tuition, we never had issues with anything. We, I've never been in a situation where, you know, my parents couldn't afford what I wanted and I thank God for that but I also know it's also not just the result of prayers it's a result of just being financially prudent for my parents and also saving and investing investing as I said earlier you know my parents are people that you know as I said they've worked very hard they worked my dad has always worked since when it was my dad is um, specifically has been working since while well, maybe he was a teenager and he's been blessed to be able to plow that money back into real estate into his own business practice because my dad is a, as i said is a financial expert into his own business practice and he's been able to invest into shares you know into the stock market he has a portfolio as well and also not just that he's also done that for myself and my siblings i remember that you know it will come to us even when I was in boarding school. It will bring forms, and I'll be like, "We'll be like, okay, just sign here, sign." And I'll be like, "What? What's this form for?" And it'll tell me, "Oh, it's just some shares I bought in you people's names." And as I said, it might not even be much. It might just be a little bit, one share there, ten shares here, or however they do the um, the, the units of shares. But it just gave gave us as children, you know, a level of financial understanding that. You're not only thinking about yourself, you're thinking of posterity, you're thinking of your children as well. And this is a lesson that I really take on board because I plan to actually do that with my daughter. Every single money that has been given to me on for my daughter when I had her, I have put it in a deposit for her. And not just a deposit, an interest yielding deposit for her. Also with that, I have also, you know, gone to the bank, I've spoken to my account officer to ask, you know, how I don't just want to be putting money there. I want to know what I can do with that money. And you know get the best out of it even using the bank's facilities so which i've already done as well also i've downloaded apps where i can buy as i said from stock markets for her now i don't want you to see this as a video that you'll be like or maybe you start introspecting that oh, i didn't have parents like that if you're a student and you're watching this or even an adult or a working class person you can always invest as i said it doesn't need to be you don't need to have six digit figures in your account you can do it with the little money that you have you can buy shares you can invest in the stock market you can invest in treasury bills you can save in an interest yielding, yielding account not just keeping your money in a bank where the money is just there you put 20k here in two years time it's still twenty thousand. nothing is doing with the money you're literally just the money is not inflation is even affecting the money so what's happening is that you are losing with that money and i just want to encourage you you know as a student you can there's so much you can do if you're not being an entrepreneur you know 
working with a business maybe doing a business you know putting your money buying one thing adding a little bit of profit you know increasing your revenue you can also invest and even if you're an entrepreneur as a student as a working class person as a parent like me as a working professional and even as an adult as a grown person in my parents age mates watching this video there's always an opportunity in fact there's something that they always say about investing and saving that it's never too early to start you can start today you don't need to wait till the end of the month you can start today so i'm going to show you about carry wise and how you can use it just to help you to save to invest give you investment options and so many things you can do with the platform so i'm going to show you guys with my phone so i'm going to get my phone and i'm going to show you so this is my phone and i'm just swiping through to the carry wise app that's the app beneath and i'm just clicking it thanks to iphone i already have my details saved i'm just focusing my camera so you guys can better see and it's just going to show my email and everything which i'm going to blur out and you i'm going to just use that to just log in as my key and my password using face id now on the interface of the app you can see like different goals you want to save do you want to invest in dollars invest in naira mutual funds you know create an emergency savings fund for like rainy day so many things you can do but i decided to just go with regular savings because i'm trying to save towards christmas just so i can have money to give people during christmas in nigeria with the savings plans you're able to choose like different thresholds like if you want three months six months one year savings plan especially if maybe discipline is your own challenge and then you can have a platform where before three months you're not able to withdraw so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to do a three months plan because christmas yeah so october november december christmas so i'm just typing what i want the money for which is christmas cash out but i think there's a word count limit on the on the app so i'm only able to put christmas cash then the next thing we're going to do is we want to choose how often we want to save you can do 1000 era weekly i decided to do weekly not daily or monthly so i'm going to go with 10,000 naira. or you can also do choose a different amount in case you want to put 5,000 3,000 figures that are not listed on the options so i went back and i'm selecting 10,000 naira because that option is already listed so i'm just going to tap 10,000 naira now and i'm going to choose it for my debit so i decided to do weekly as i said yours can be daily yours can be monthly and it just up depends on you but i decided to do weekly as you can see then i'm just going to click continue at the base of the app once that's done you're going to have to automate how you want to do it so i decided to do for three months as i said earlier and then it's going to show you the interest rates how much you're going to earn and your cash out day so the day that it's going to mature like the maturity day december 26 which is great just the day after christmas and i'm going to get 120,806 naira and a few cobbles so I'm just going to go using bank transfer because I don't have any token at the moment because I'm abroad and I'm just going to manually set my payments via bank transfer and it was so easy to do. You are able to put your debit card and you will just be getting the deductions daily. I really like the fact that the app repeats also reminding you that you are not going to be able to withdraw till the 26th but you can change maybe the, the money that you're putting in but you're not able going to be able to withdraw from the account until the maturity date so of course i accept and i'm going to click got it then another pop-up is going to come up just educating me again on how the account is going to be generated because i chose bank transfer now this is real time the account number has been generated then i'm going to click the two double squares to copy the account number then i'll go to my own personal bank that i use and i'm going to make the payment so i've done the payment so that's why it's showing transaction successful and i come back to the app and i click i have paid as you can see it says you did great now when i go back to my interface it's not going to be updated because i did bank transfer it takes a couple of minutes for that to load so once that's loaded your account is now going to be showing um your balance which i'm going to now record my screen and i'm going to put it into so that you guys can see the balance so i'll do maybe a screenshot there are other things in the app as well such as you know building wealth with your friends inviting your friends like from your contacts to save with you to start a challenge referral codes and also investing in mutual funds either in naira or in dollar it also gives you the opportunity to choose conservative mutual funds moderate or even aggressive ones and it also shows you the returns interest rates which is good you're able to make a better informed decision i also like the fact that they give appropriate information if you sign up on their mailing list you get emails on literally ground zero up information on mutual funds anything you want to learn about investing or even savings they have lots of articles on their website i think the one i even got this morning was about mutual funds what is mutual funds starting from that as foundational or as junior junior level as that so you're able to just make your own decision by yourself with the appropriate information by educating yourself now this page is just to know like a quiz or uh, assessment just on your risk appetite what kind of investments you're conversant with and which one you aren't and here on this screen you can 
also like refer people and earn so this is my own referral code make sure you use it if you're downloading the app i'm also going to put it in the description box below so you guys can use it in case you're interested in the app another thing i also learned from my dad is to be weary of sweet talkers oh my gosh i remember when you know a scam a scam platform came out a few years back not a few years about five years back that a lot of people in nigeria actually put their money it was like a money doubling scheme it's actually one alphabet in three places if you know you know and i was telling my dad about it that as in how you know unintelligent can people be it's obviously a pyramid scheme agenda there will always be a loser because nobody wins with pyramid scheme the person at the bottom is giving to the top so who is going to give the person at the bottom and then what's going to happen is that you're going to get to the end of the cycle and people are not able to earn or people are going to lose their money because the people at the bottom are giving the people at the top right and he was telling me that when he was growing up there were, there's always been schemes like that you just repackage them and refine them and use some sweet mouth and use some marketers and they keep recruiting people so it's easy that anything that is too good to be true is too good to be true. So be wary of platforms where they tell you things like 100% guarantee, 50% interest. You're not a money doubler. <laughs> You're not a money doubler. Even agriculture that is very lucrative comes with a lot of risk. Your chickens may die. The birds may catch bird flu. Your poultry may catch swine flu. So many things may happen. There's nothing that is risk free. Do you understand what I'm saying? So please be very careful of sweet talking. Don't ever become so desperate that you get to a point where you are not being logical. You get to a point where you actually take things hook, line and sinker. You get to a point where you're not being um, skeptical, like saying that mm, this is too good to be true. Why would I, you know, how would, I mean, it's a magic. How would I give you a hundred thousand naira and you give me two hundred thousand naira in 15 working days? If that was it, there would be no bank. Everybody would be rich. So be very careful of situations where, as I said, all that glitters, that looks so glittery, all that glitters, it's not gold. That's another financial lesson or money habit that I've learned from my dad. So that's about it for my video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the description box some of the things that you have, um, you have learned maybe from your parents within with saving just you know tips that other people can actually inculcate and i'm going to put all the links in the description box below things that let me say i would think that you may find useful in accordance to this video anything that i mentioned and i said i was going to refer in this video i'll also put it in the description box make sure you guys join me on the challenge we're going to be saving for three months and we're not going to touch the money and on payday day you guys were going to celebrate you guys can use it to back to school this year you can use it to buy things for christmas this is a good time so if you start the savings october october november christmas christmas is a good time to cash out so we're going to do that okay october november december yeah three months that's a good time to cash out i really hope it was educative and i hope you enjoyed and yeah if you have any questions reach me on instagram or i'm going to tag also Carry wise in this video so you guys can actually check out their platform their page ask questions call them anything you want to do just to get more information until next time stay blessed bye bye